Bonjour! Hello! Welcome to Cuisine à la Pierre. On today's episode, we are going to continue on from the Blue Apron unboxing we did on the last episode. If you did not see that, check it out up here and you will see what we are preparing to do today. I chose for the first episode ever of Cuisine à la Pierre to make the Cheddar Cheeseburgers as seen on the recipe card. Now we will follow along and prepare these together. Please bear in mind that this is episode 1 of Cuisine à la Pierre and so our production values are so-so. We only had the two cameras because we are still getting used to how to record Pierre's cooking. So don't worry, on the future episodes we have many more cameras and so please just bear that in mind as you watch this because the production values hopefully will go up from here. Until then, please enjoy. Here we have the ingredients for the cheddar cheeseburgers with sauteed onions and a romaine salad. First we have the two potato buns. Next we have the heart of the romaine. Here we have the yellow onion. Two cloves of garlic. Down here we have the premium ground beef. And one carrot. Here we have the ingredients of the cheeseburger knickknacks. We have the cheddar cheese, creamy mustard sauce, red wine vinegar, and finally, un shallot. So first thing we do is we cut the garlic. We slice it very fine, and we try not to cut ourselves with the big knife. Because we are not unboxing, so we do not want to cut ourselves like the box. Now, Pierre is not a master chef, so Pierre does not have the fancy skills with the knife. Now, the instructions say to make a paste. So we shall squeeze and squeeze. That is not very pasty. Let us keep chopping. And we come back and squeeze. You know it's good when it makes a squishing sound. Listen. So we shall call that good. The next instruction says to cut the onion into uh, rings. So first we cut off the skin. That is horrible. I am on camera for the first time and it is nerve wracking. So, normally I cut like this. And then I cut the ends off. Get rid of the paper for we are not writing a manuscript. There we have it the perfect onion. Now we cut into your rings. So if we slice straight down, we should get some pretty good rings. And you thought Pierre was going to mess up the onion. Pierre may still mess up the onion. All right, now the instructions say to separate them into little onion rings. These are probably a little too thick. Yeah, that is probably how thick it is supposed to be. This one, oh, that is a monstrosity. We shall get rid of him. That is a lot of onions. Pierre, he likes the onions, but this is a lot. This is not a ring, we shall get rid of that. And the one that fell on the floor. Next, it says to have our potato buns. I'm surprised they're not halved already. Seems like it's the obvious thing to do. Oh, huh? Yes, 
they are halved, so nom nom nom. No problems there. Going on to the next step. Thinly slice the cheese. Where is the cheese? This is a uh, sharp cheddar, they say. The sharp cheddar really brings out the flavor. So since we do not have a grater, we shall again use our carver's knife and cut very slimly. Voila! Next we have cut off and discard the root end of the romaine. Roughly chop the leaves. This is the butt end that we do not want. This has already been washed. And we roughly chop the leaves into the bowl. Now, before we go any further, it is time for the vine. I told you, Pierre always cooks with vine. Sometimes he even puts it in the food. <laughs> Up next we have the carrot. Pierre does not apparently own a peeler, so Pierre sliced the carrot with his carver's knife. That looks pretty good. And now it says to thinly slice on an angle. Let us be fancy. I see. That makes the carrot look bigger. Not all things are as big as they seem. <laughs> it is much harder to cut on the angle. Ugh, this is quite tedious. Let's try. Let's try. Jump. So, with the chalet, we do the same thing as the onion. Shallots are very hard. Ah, oh, forgot to cut the end off. <laughs> now a shallot, if I recall, is a cross type thing between a garlic and a onion. See how it is in two different cloves. So we need two tablespoons. Thinly sliced. Oh. And duh. And then we add the red wine vinegar. Next, we take the hamburger. That always brings the puppies running. And we are to combine it in a bowl with the garlic. Uh, here we got the garlic. And then we season with the salt and pepper. Little bit of salt. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And we use the magic tools. All right, now we take the hamburger and divide it into two pieces and make the patty. Now, when you make the patty, do not bulge it for it will not cook enough in the middle and the outside will be crunchy. So make your patty flat. Voila. 
The next instructions are to cook the onions. We will use the garlic olive oil in a non-stick pan. And we are going to give a drizzle. We will heat that up and add the onions. We shall season with some more salt and pepper. And we shall let it cook. Alright, now it's time to cook the patties. We will heat up the burner. Add a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. And while that heats up, we will start the salad. Now I've taken a little bit of the lettuce and set it aside for the burger. We will make our vinaigrette. We have the vinegar and shallots. We will add a little olive oil. So we will whisk that up. Now I don't really know what vinaigrette should taste like, so we will guess. Because I usually have pre-made salad dressing. That tastes like something. Okay, so we will take the lettuce and the carrots. Mix those together. So I think I shall wait to add the vinaigrette until it is time to plate. I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees to toast the buns. So we shall take the buns. One, two, trois, quatre. And wait for the oven to heat up, waiting for the burner. Oh, two. And there's the oven. Let us get the meat juice off our hands. So, the only thing left to do is let the burgers cook. Three minutes on one side, uh, three minutes on the other side, and then we will reheat the onion, and then we will build up the burger. So, we are going to put the buns in the oven, have a little vine while we wait, and after three minutes we are going to flip the burgers. Now we're going to reheat the onions. So the burgers are almost ready. We are reheating the... I looked at the wrong camera again. We are reheating the onions. The bread is toasted. Let's just get that out. So, now we need the plates. On the... Bun. Uh, other bottom of bun. Shut the oven off. We are supposed to take some of the fancy creamy mustard sauce. We take the mustard. We put some on the potato bun. It's not that creamy. And we spread it. <laughs> now we will layer with the homemade. Just kill the heat. That looks pretty good. So we shall take that and we shall add the cheese right on top so that it melts just like that. While that melts we will take our tongs and place some of the onions right on the bun. Next, we will take the vinaigrette and pour it on the salad. 
And again with our tongs, we shall toss as I spill lettuce on the floor. So there we have our salad. Little salad here. And now we take our burgers. Oh, the cheese is not melted. Let's just turn that back on. We're just holding the heat with that. That will probably be good because the heat from the burger will carry over. So we plate. And the bun. The toothpick. And one more. The bun. The to peak and voila there you have it so we shall try this out from the blue apron the cheddar burger and see how it tastes so as you have a look at the final plate let me tell you how it was everything tasted good just as you would expect it to taste I even like the vinegar head I think this was due to the shallots that we added the burger was very moist. Searing with oil in the pan created a thin crust that locked in the moisture. The meat, however, was a little bland. When you make this, feel free to add in more garlic, salt, pepper, or any of your other favorite meat seasonings to kick it up a bit. Thank you very much for watching, and tune in next time for the next meal. Bon appétit! We shall season with some more salt. I don't know what camera to look at. <laughs>